this should be fun and exciting. <laughs> Azer. <laughs> Napoleon. What? T Dog versus Bonaparte. That's Oracle. AKA or yeah, Oracle. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. So <laughs> see, look at that. Look at the logos. Looks good. Oh yeah. Okay. So I want I wanna say uh, for you guys who don't know, yes, Oracle. Oracle is uh, that guy who did awesome at Paragon mm -hmm. and other nationals. Mm -hmm. uh, why is he in Lizard's Bracket? Well, let me tell you, folks. Please. Notor he is notorious for learning characters, and he thinks that tournaments are good times to try them out. <laughs> he doesn't need these characters. His char Rob covers just about everything. But uh, he uses these poor souls to <laughs> test his new character. So round one, he loses with Kirby, his new character this week. The flavor of the month. And then everyone in loser's bracket gets the Rob game one, gets the Kirby game two, which usually loses. <laughs> and then when he loses, he just goes Rob again. So these poor kids are just like playing Oracle round one in loser's bracket I, at a local. And then they get trolled. Oh, yeah. Game two. And if he wins, great. He still advances. But I'm guessing he flubbed. Who did he lose to? Do you know? Uh, I think he lost to Artemis. Game and Watch. His ah. Game and Watch is broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Clearly. Yeah, clearly. No, it's You've all saw Paragon. Yeah, Game Watch is an amazing character. Oh. Broken? Not sure. I don't think it's broken. I think it's just more to adapt to. He's amazing, though. Oh, okay. Well, we're kind of getting a pretty big lead here. Have you seen this matchup before? No, it's kind of new for me because neither. Like, I, I granted, we still have the same things that we have to keep in mind where he, Azer has a lot of stage control he can work with with lots of different projectiles, but. I guess the, the problem is is that he doesn't get a chance to do much because he constantly gets smothered by this top oh. and the item game that comes with a Rob. Mm. Well, a little bit of story. Uh, Oracle actually, I'm pretty sure, has taken sets off of uh, Professor Pro. Like, he, he knows this matchup. PM, you see a lot of the times it's like, okay, has this player ever fought X character? Yeah. If not, they're probably going to lose. Uh, but <laughs> Oracle has... Oracle has a ton of experience. He plays a ton of characters, and it really does show. Um, it may look like he's goofing around sometimes, but he's <laughs> super smart anyways. He is a really smart guy. He's a vet, uh, not just in PM, but he's he's been playing some, like Smash since, what, Melee, like 2004 or something? Mm. I don't know. He's OG. He did play Melee, but I think he started around. I don't think he's really been playing too long. Maybe like 2011 or something. Really? Yeah, yeah. He, he's not. He's not a 04 guy. Mm. Yeah, we got. It. We'll do a fact check. I'll ask him. How, how does the wiki work? Someone tell us. Tweet <laughs> yeah. out from Oracle's wiki Someone or update Google. it, please. Google it so I'm correct, and then we're all happy. Okay. <laughs> oh, or change the wiki to yes. match what he says. Yes. Even if it's not true. <laughs> yes. We're going to make up history. Also, I'm part Czech and uh, Dutch. <laughs> so make sure you update my wiki while you're doing that, too. Ooh. Oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> Azer having a little trouble with uh, the top there. Yo, this isn't a good spot for him to be in. Yeah, he I mean, with this stage in particular, like, since the walls come up and there's not, like, angles going downwards, he's going to have difficulties coming back on, like, tacking back up using C4. And especially when you're at these shallow angles, you're, really, you're kind of just setting yourself up to get dared by Oracle. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, just, we got word from our sponsor that there's no real information on this Smash. Oracle is now a myth. Oh, he's the best Rob in the world. Sweet. You know, it also says that Azer is a top snake, too, on Smash Wars. Hey. <laughs> he got the stick, though. He tried to snake. He got the stick and went for the snake pillar, but didn't come out and cash out with anything. Azer's, Azer's been doing really, really well lately. Like, he'll, he's a bit in inconsistent. Like, he lost pretty early today because uh, he went secondaries. Hey. The theme or something. <laughs> oh, you know what? These are the two guys who went their secondaries and then like went to losers and then um, got bodied. Yeah, now they're fighting each other. I hope you guys enjoy whatever <laughs> place y'all get. Should be good. <laughs> oh, that so. was great. Oh, uh, Azer is gonna get dunked here. Oh, you need to tech that. We tech those. Look, like. <laughs> like oh. the thing is, is that. Okay. The thing that that I I, I think kept happening over and over again is that. Azer, come here. Azer just lost so bad that he's Azer, just walking just around. Mine. He looks lost. 
I think his controller is messing up. He's just up. wandering okay. around. He, he's grabbing other people's controllers. He doesn't know what's happening. <laughs> he got he's dunked just, so hard. He's, just he's going back to the Stone Age. He, he's looking. He's trying to talk to he's us. He's saying his B button wasn't working. The poor thing. He doesn't know that there's a there's a like. <laughs> a movie barrier that he can't interact with the commentators. <laughs> he's trying. Bless his heart. Bless his oh, heart. Oh, he found his way back to the sea. <laughs> okay. Dak Phil Craig has him. I yeah. love you guys. <laughs> okay, game two. The salty run back. Oh, man. I'm, I'm really susceptible to do this. Uh, the to the salty run backs? Yeah, I... Because you believe you can do it. Yeah, I kind of feel... If I if way. I do a salty run back, it's it's generally because I think I can win. I think that was just a mistake on my part. And I have a pretty good win rate on the salty. Run do you backs. have? A, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Is like if you if you have a good track record, then it's like yeah, I, I'm justified in doing so. Also, an advantage if you do a salty or I mean if you do a salty run back and you go to back to their stage, mm. your opponent does not know what kind of stage preference you have. Ooh, actually, that's a good point. So when they take you to somewhere game three, they are missing the knowledge of, oh, he wants a short ceiling or whatever. Okay. Yeah, I like that. That's don't don't point. let that justify you salty run backing and like, <laughs> losing all the time. But that's just a small perk. Oh, uh, that's great. So I think one of the big themes that comes to this game is item control, right? Because oh, yeah, so many items. I mean, Rob has this top that you constantly have to figure out how to deal with. And for me, whenever I have to deal with someone like uh, Diddy or Rob, the way that I do it is I love to wave dash over the item and then just chuck it up in the air and just deal with it. Uh, so that way, I just throw it up in the air. It's no longer something that they can continue to resummon. Um, and I get a chance to just play the character one-on-one. -on -one. Hmm. No, yeah, that makes sense. It's the same thing with like a Diddy Banana. Like it's just you're not playing the same game while it's out. Ooh, Ooh nice! It takes the first strike. I'm actually kind of surprised uh, Oracle didn't go Kirby. Uh, I guess that's uh, that's a respect thing. <laughs> well, oh, I'm stealing that. That's clever. Uh, Oracle oh. just uh, there's a proxy mine on the ground, and he just air dodged right over it, and it, it proc. That's. I don't know if you do that. Yeah. I know that people, whenever they, they guess that C4 is going off, they'll air dodge too. Uh, granted, the, the downfall is going to special fall afterwards, but you don't lose a stock, hopefully, the first time. Ooh. Man, that... Mines have a huge proxy over them. I'm always surprised by, like, how far above you could stand, or, like, try, try to jump over it, and it'll still nail you. Uh, Azer actually took me to game three last time we played. He's got to be really careful standing under that platform. Two hundred percent. Down I'm not though. sure. Mm. Uh, okay. <laughs> Odd. The the swing. I'm not sure why uh, Oracle let him go back to this stage. In fact, I'm surprised they counterpicked to this in the first place. I think it's really hard to fight against Snake when there's tons of platforms. It makes it even more difficult when there's moving platforms because he can set a mine there or something. He can put a basically a stage hazard and it moves and you have to keep track of it and you have to put so much more mental energy into mm -hmm. keeping track of his traps. That's a great point. Oh, two times he's gone for gun. Neither of them have really come up on top. Mm. The the thing that I, I'm looking for is where, how is Azer going to maintain the stock right now? Because I think he's done a good Ooh. job of staying away from being on the, on the off stage. Oh, please, Azer, please. Well, he'll do it and it'll work. Does he really? Yeah, he's I done it to me before, and he's. <laughs> I've also been cigaretted before. <laughs> is that a thing? What does that do to you? you just flicks it's it a at spike. You? Yeah, he flicks it's it. It's a at spike. You? Yeah. If you That's get hit spike. with it, it's a tiny hitbox. Like if you hit with it, you just deserve to die. Uh, uh that's awesome. Thank you, PM. <laughs> this is why this game is so great. Oh, dunk! No. Yeah. I'm surprised he just didn't go for pivot back throw. Like, you just chuck Azer off the stage again and just go for dunks. Yeah, if, uh, if Snake ever misses his uh, his sticky, stick close by him because he's going to want to try to blow it up because he wants to stick you or he wants to recover with it. He didn't want it just, like, randomly on the floor. Yeah, it doesn't do him any good. And if you if he tried to blow it up and you're, like, right there, you get the punish at least. But, because uh, he has to pull out his hands to do the actual animation for that. Right. This is a tight battle right now. Up. Four no, throws. Four throw. I'm sorry. I'm thinking Smash Four. You're good. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've been playing too much of that game. Cloud is hype, by the way. 
Oh. I feel like he's Heart control. mid at I feel like he's mid at lowest and I feel like he's mid high at highest. You know about port priority versus in uh Yeah, when when two attacks of the similar percentage are about to clank, so a tilt over a tilt if uh, they're supposed to hit at the same time. Whoever's in port one will have priority over two, three, and four. And so that's the hierarchy, right? Uh, or is it something a little bit different? I think it's a little bit different. So say Snake has a grenade in his hand, right? And then you grab Snake and it explodes. Whoever gets sent flying, uh, both players always take the damage. But one player will get sent flying if they don't have port priority. And I'm pretty sure if it's the same the way it worked in Brawl, uh, it's always the lower part wins. So whenever you play against snakes, uh, a lot of times you'll rock, paper, scissors for the lower port. Because that does come in handy. Because if those situations actually do happen all the time. Because snakes like to you know, pull out a grenade and hide in their shield. And the answer to that is grab them. And if you have pipe port priority, they go flying and then you have stage control. There's also um, some tech that you can use with Snake regarding like the grenades and how you're getting hit. Like um, we saw it against Ally versus Professor Pro, where Professor Pro would hold onto a, a grenade whenever Ike was coming out to fair him off stage. It would reset the knockback to the actual grenade knockback, as opposed to the fair knockback that would have killed the two. So there's a kind of like a bunch of weird stuff that you can do with Snake to uh, change the knockback as well. That's actually really, really smart. I like that. Because it because it, it pokes through the shield, yeah? Like if it's a destroy or something? I think that's... I, I don't know if it works with other characters, though. I, I know that it works with Ike, because people have done that to me before, too, and I just lose my mind. Like, God, just destroy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Board throw? No, Tombstone. That's going to be it. And Two, oh, that was a great game. I really enjoyed watching that. I make the joke constantly that Oracle spares us all by being a TO for major events. Because it seems like at Aftershock and then LTC3, we have everyone show up for IAB, and then somehow he takes all of our money.